everybody, Zoe Purple Valley here, and I'm back with another part of Let's Play Star Stable, and we are back in South Hoof, and we are going to continue with the quest with Jonas and Holly and the rest of their family as I slowly but surely attempt to unlock the Wolf Ponies because I had enough star coins. <laughs> so, let's get started. Hello again, Lucy. Lovely day, isn't it? Yesterday was a little more dramatic, wouldn't you say? I lost my fishing boat, almost drowned, and then nearly froze to death. Got plenty done. Got plenty done, I'd say. Haha. <sighs> Ah, uh, well, mess and grumble. We're all here now, feeling fine, and with a new friend to boot. I mean, you, of course, Lucy. Many thanks for all you've done. Now, I, th now I think about it, it was a rather good day in the end. Talk to Jonas. My fishing boat? Oh, ah, uh, no, it's on the seabed now, rotting away amongst the crabs and the seaweed. I'd started to get a little bit fed up with all the fishing, though, and it feels like this might be a bit of a sign to try something new. Can't do the same thing every day of your life, now can you, Lucy? Perhaps a few more visitors might start coming to South Hoof soon. Wouldn't you think? I was thinking about maybe opening up some kind of shop to give the visitors somewhere to buy the essentials. That'd work. Wouldn't it, Lucy? Sure. You think a store sounds like a good idea? Excellent news, Lucy. Then I suppose it's time to put fishing behind me and set course for a new career as a businessman. Feels good. Do you think you can help me get started, Lucy? Sigrid says I still need to rest. If she sees me doing anything other than taking it easy, she'll go crazy. You'll help? Oh, Lucy, you're a lifesaver. I know there are some boxes of clothes, horse equipment, and other odds and ends hanging around on the farm someplace. No one here is interested in them, but they're actually some pretty nice stuff. I think I could probably have them for sale. If you could find the boxes and bring them here, I think we might have something to work with. Okay, let's do it then. Look like just they look like just the boxes I was thinking of. Great work, Lucy. Would you mind helping me a little more, Lucy? If I start working now, Sigrid will make my life a misery. You can count on that. You'll help? That's the spirit, Lucy. Thanks. If you could open up the boxes and set them over there, that should be a few posts and some material in there as well. There should be a few posts and material in there as well. If you set it all up, it could it could well start to look like some kind of shop. It's gonna be really nice. I like stutter too much with that. <laughs> hey, that's looking great, Lucy. Hmm, I just thought of something, Lucy. I don't think I'll be standing at the store selling things the whole time. It doesn't seem particularly rewarding to just stand there and wait for people to turn up. Nope, we'll have to think of something else. Hmm, I think I've got it. People around here are decent types. No thieves in the neck of the woods. I think it'll be enough to just set out a little box where people can leave their money when they want to buy something. I reckon that'll do the trick, don't you, Lucy? Hey, set these boxes up out next to each of the shops, then we're all done. Okay, let's do that then. Well, just look at that, Lucy. What lovely shops we have. Really lovely. Now we just need to hope someone wants to come and buy things from them. Thanks for everything, Lucy. I looked through the boxes and found this. I think it'll suit you perfectly. Thanks again, and I hope we'll see each other again soon, Lucy. Let's see what we got. It's a nice saddle, but I have nothing to match it. This is, like, I can't. No, I'm sorry. I can't wear that. I want to, but I can't. Also, my dad just walked past the room and heard me talking to myself. He probably thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> Next is Madison. Hi, Lucy. Of course I know who you are. Don't you remember me? You you helped my family get away from Cape Sorrow. Haha, <laughs> it was lucky you came. Dad was about to go crazy. Sadly, we never got to make a raft like Grandma would have wanted us to. Thanks anyways, though. Hey, listen, I've got this awesome game on my... Gamo. Gmo. Gamo. Have you ever had a <laughs> before? You have it's the latest in thing in gaming. Gaming emulator. I call the G E M O. Gaming emulator music optimizer is what it means. Could you get get a could you get a cooler name? You can listen to music, be online, and play games. You can do loads of stuff. Hmm. I had it in my pocket a moment ago. Oh, of course. I left it here on the farm when Grandpa wanted us to sleep on the boat. I just need to find it first, and I can show you. Okay. Hmm. You want help? Cool. Do you see my smile right now? That, thanks so much. Okay. Well, let's find it then. Hey. 
You couldn't find it either. <sighs> I really want to show you my new awesome game. Haha, <laughs> look at that. One of the hands has got my GEMO machine by its headphones and is driving around after itself. <laughs> it looks pretty funny. Hey, we need to catch it though. Mission, hen catch starts now. Agent Lucy, oh, you want to be, you, do you want to be called Agent Lucy? Is that okay? You can be Agent Lucy and I'll be Commander. That sounds cool. Haha, <laughs> okay. Our goal is to capture the hen, Samara. She's working for a evil, a secret evil organization. Our aim here is to recapture the valuable object that Samara has stolen, which has the power to destroy the entire planet. Agent Lucy, your mission is to sneak up to Samara and attempt to take it back at the magic GMO. I'll make sure she doesn't escape, because if she does, hope could be gone for all mankind. Okay, Agent Lucy, are you ready to save the world? Let's do this. My dad is yelling in the background, help me now. Haha, <laughs> you cut it! Oh wow, my stomach hurts after all the laughing. <laughs> we need to do this again sometime. This is what I get for trying to record while my dad is playing hockey on his PlayStation. <laughs> Seems the Samara, the hen's little runaround with my GMO has has broken it a bit. I can't get it to switch on, stupid chicken. You want to try fixing it, you say? Wow, you are like queen of all no no knowledge or something. Yeah. Kind of laugh with that. <laughs> I know you can't promise you'll fix it, but it's super nice of you to offer to take a look at it. Let's imagine the whole thing is surgery and you're going to operate on the GMO. Your master surgeon Lucy and I'm your doctor's assistant. We've just received GMO in the to the emergency unit, a being that's ended up with some terrible injuries. Come on, doctor. Come one, Doctor Lucy. We can do this. No, we can't. No, we can't. I think can. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh no! A moment silence for GMO. You fought right up to the end, little guy. Farewell. Don't be sad, Lucy. I have another idea on how we can fix the GMO. Like I said, I think I have an idea on how we can save my GMO. There's a wizard who lives in the Invisible Valley. There's only one person who's ever been there, and that's me. Okay, well, he's not exactly a wizard. <laughs> he's one of my best friend who, friends who lives here. He's a hermit. He hides away from everyone and keeps to himself, but he's great at building and repairing things. He is even great with horses. He'll definitely be able to fix my GMO. I'd love to have I'd love to have come with you to see him, but I promised my grandma I'd help out at the lighthouse now. <sighs> but I'll tell you how to get there. You seem far far you see far off over there, there's a really big tree right towards that. When you're almost there, head left towards the edge of the cliff. Keep your eye out for a path that leads down towards the beach, which is where he lives. I think you'll find it pretty easy. Say hello to him for me. See you later, Lucy. Today was fun. Thanks. Okay, let's go get him. Or see him. And we're here. Yay. I like this place. It's pretty. Huh? Who's there? What do you want? I want your soul, Hermit. I want your soul. Oh, look. It's my Club Diamond Kings. On my other account, anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I heard what your name was. I just don't want to talk to you. Huh? So Madison sent you, you say? Sure, okay, whatever you say. Ugh, leave me alone. <sighs> okay, well, well, let's see. What kind of evidence do you, do you have that it's really Madison who sent you? G-E-M-O? Well, how do I know you haven't just stolen it? I'm not getting rid of you, am I? Let's look at look at this uh, look at it this way. I can see that you've got a horse there. If you can answer my questions about horses, then I might be able to believe you. Okay, let's do it. Which question? What's not a horse? Which of the following, following is not a breed of horse? Domination. Hmm. Which question do you want to serve? Feet on the ground. Which of the following correct names for the horse's feet? Whose? Which of the questions would you like to start with? A horse's life. What do we call horses' babies? Fold. You knew the answers. To, the answer to my question, so perhaps you're speaking the truth. Yay. Hmm. So you know a, a fair bit about horses. Maybe. Maybe not. I still don't want to talk to you. Uh, but you knew the answers to my questions. Uh, what's what's the name of the horse of yours? Dragon Wings. Uh, well, well, that's a nice name. Um, I'll look at the GMO machine that that you say is Madison's. If you can prove to me that it's a, the U, U and can is was turned into one word. Okay. Prove to me that you are a true rider. You might have just got lucky with those questions. If you can complete my racetrack before the time runs out, then I'll be convinced you're telling the truth. Otherwise, I shan't speak any further with you. In case, in case I'll only talk. In that case, I'll only talk with your horse, okay? Ugh, so you're accepting the challenge? Mm-hmm, brave. Let's do this.
Well, knock me down with a feather. What display? What an outstanding, outstanding riding technique. That Lucy was incredible. Truly unbelievable. Where did you learn to ride like that? I must say I'm impressed. Very impressed indeed. Uh, the G-E- The G-E-M-O, yes? G-E-M-O, yes? Um, it could take a while, so you can leave now. Why? Why are you asking if you can help me? If I'm not going to get rid of you, then you can try fixing that drink thing thorough. I can never see it properly. Over there. Sue me. You repaired the... That's my word for it. That's my new word for it. Well, knock me down with a feather. If you say knock me down with a feather one more time, I'll actually do it. That was qu that was a quick repair. A good rider as well as handy. Ugh. Are you sure you fixed it? Can you pour water into it without the water running out of it? Uh, where is there some water? Um, you can get the water from the pump. Here, you can fill this bucket up with water. Yeah. I don't like you. I'm only dealing with you for the ponies. Hmm, seems as though you've done a good job with the... <laughs> I can't, I can't. I don't say it because I can't pronounce it properly, but I can't pronounce it properly, so I'm saying something even more stupid. <laughs> well, hmm, well, if there was nothing else, then you can leave. I'll look at the G-E-M-O G -E -G -E for Madison. Why are you still here? Yes, well, I heard your question about why I own the thing. The thing of the thing. But why would I ask that? Because there's ponies here, okay. But I really did. But I didn't really know why I should answer you. Hmm. Well, you're, you've no doubt see that there are wild horses here. Uh, the climate here on South Hoop isn't what you would call ideal for my four-legged friends. The horses here live a full life of hardship, which is why I do all I can to help them. If I don't help, who will? You can. You want to help? You. You're also fond of wild of the wild horses here. Hmm. Well, yes, you can help, I suppose. Uh, I need to. I have to. Oh, you can just go and tidy up the carrot patch if you have to help. I need to be alone right now. You are just a big bucket of hate, aren't you? Can I do this on my horse? No, I can't. So no one likes my horse. Well, knock me down with a feather. That was fast. You're faster than a horse who's... Thanks. <laughs> um, if you could help me with the wild horses some more. You want to help? Uh, you see, I usually leave food out for the horse, for the horses so that, that it's easier for them to get by here. Like I told you, life isn't easy for a wild horse in these parts. Strong winds make it very hard for anything to grow here. Everything just blows away. Uh, my question to you is, um, well, will you go and place out boxes of food for the horses? You will? Eh, thanks. You really don't like me, you hate me, you hate me. Did, you, did it go well? Did everything look okay? Nothing strange took place? Did, was something strange supposed to take place? I thought I could hear the horses neighing worriedly through the wind, but as long as you didn't see anything strange, ugh. I've just completed a new racetrack that I'd like to challenge you on. It went well for you on the last racetrack, but I'd like to see if you can manage this one as well. You can't cheat this time in any case. If you manage to cheat with the last one, you certainly won't be able to do it with this one since you, I've just made it. Let me see the troop bond between you and Dragon Wings. So, are you ready to take part in the ta ta to take on the challenge? Ready beyond doubt? You're a brave one, I must say. Am I about to go into like a thing where I'll just say what I want to hear? <laughs> Knock me down with a feather. You're a fine rider. It's impossible to ride as well as you do if you don't speak the horse's language. I swear to flew. That's good riding? Then... I don't even know anymore. <laughs> we must speak further about your riding technique, Lucy. I loved it. It was like you were flying there in the saddle with dragon wings. I sort of was. <laughs> uh, I'll fix Madison's machine. I'm really quite difficult, even if you wouldn't think that to look at me. If you looked at me, she can get it back from back next time. Next time, next time she's here. If you want to compete more on the racetrack, you're welcome to come back. I can keep time while you ride the tracks, but now I have to do other things. 
can't be bothered with you anymore, so you'll have to leave. I need to, um, I have to count all the carrots. Goodbye. I hate this hat so much. I hate it so much. Wait, can I unlock it? Wait. Uh, I don't know if you very well yet, but if I trusted you a little more, there's a chance I might let you adopt one of Southgate's beautiful wild horses. Hopefully we'll be able to do that this weekend. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I don't know how long this part is, but I don't care how long it is. I was so determined to unlock all those daily so I can unlock the Welsh ponies as soon as possible. So thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.